Truth Bomb, Dirty Little Secrets, April Jones, Will Polk, Case Update, coming at you right after this. All information in this program is known to be accurate at the time of recording. Any commentary by the host is for discussion purposes only. Anyone labeled a person of interest by the host or family has not been charged with a crime. All suspects charged with crimes related or unrelated to a case covered are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Opinions and views expressed by the host do not represent views of the families or sponsors of this program. Welcome to the special edition of Grim Media News. I'm your host, Steve Stone. Today, like always when we discuss Will Polk and April Jones, there's always more to this case that keeps getting in the way. There's more to this case that keeps just causing more problems than it does help. And it takes away the attention that needs to be put on this case like, for example, finding April Jones. One of the things that has yet to be done is is locating April. That that it she has not been found. None of her remains have been found. Apparently there there are excuses that the water's too high or and we don't know that. We haven't spoken with anybody uh, in law enforcement to confirm that this is the case. What we do know is this, four people, four people in Will and April's case have not been charged. Uh, one of these, um, I, if I'm not mistaken, one of the people um, responsible for Will, or f yeah, for Will and April's case is someone that, that is, is close to K2. And, and had intimate knowledge and assisted in doing things like moving body parts around. And they have not been charged. And we, we were left to wonder why. But at the end of the day, they're not being charged. And April hasn't been found. Why is that? Now, we're going to get into the breaking news here in just a second, but I wouldn't be doing my job as, as a journalist and an advocate to demand action when it comes to locating April. We know part of, of Will's remains have been located, and on top of being located, we also know that they were leaked to the family that has yet to be uh, investigated. Uh, I don't understand how long it takes to find out who sent a picture of Will's remains and sent it to the family? How long does that take? I mean, it can only be a few suspects. It has to be someone with the medical examiner's office, the DA's office, or the sheriff's department. So, and if you think it can't get any worse for Quitman County, it does. A source within Quitman County has come forward to divulge information that is just going to make all of this more frustrating. See, K2 has help. We have learned through a source that Keith Coleman Jr., also known as K2, has a godfather within the department a, a godfather who is on the payroll at the equipment county sheriff's office and that it doesn't stop there folks i'm going to tell you a story a week and a half ago k uh k2 keith coleman was sent to the hospital with injuries to his arm lacerations to his arm which some believed was a attempt of, of suicide or some sort. What we have learned was the doctor patched him up, said that he had seen worse, and good old K2 was sent back to jail packing. But what 
we didn't know was Keith Coleman was planning to escape that day. How do we know that? Source a, a source close to Quitman County stated that not only did K2 have cell phone in his cell, but also a handcuff key. How we know that? Because later, either the, that day or the following day, he was moved to a solitary cell where his um, jail cell was um, ransacked, looked into, searched, tossed, whatever you, uh, terminology you want to use, a cell phone and a handcuff key. Let me say that again. He had access to a cell phone and a handcuff key. Keith Coleman was going to escape for a third time. A third time. So on top of the, the countless botching that's going on with the other co-defendants that have not been charged in the death of Will Polk and April Jones, um, then we have the leaked photo of Will Polk's remains that was leaked to a family member with no one to be held accountable for. And then on top of all of this, a person, a, 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 a person within the department who was there both times Keith Coleman has escaped is possibly giving aid to Keith Coleman again. Cell phone, it has been confirmed that he had access to a cell phone and a handcuff key. Now, anybody with an education or common sense, if Keith Coleman had stayed the night in the hospital, we would be talking about a search for a suspected double homicide suspect who would be out on the run. On top of all that, there are people that could be victims of K2 if he got if he got out again. Keep in mind folks, there are people out there that have not only turned on this man, but could be potential victims themselves. This whole this whole story is an abomination. This whole this whole deal is an abomination. And I can say that I am 100% um, convinced that my source, this is affirmation is not only accurate, but it just once again puts Quitman County Sheriff Office in a bad light. And they don't have to be. It's It would be easy to be more transparent by not giving lip service about saying that they're going to be looking for the person who divulged a picture, but also let us know, hey, it would make them look good. From a PR standpoint, they stopped this man from escaping again. So why not put that out there? Is it because there's a possibility that there's a person within your ranks that's aiding this man? I mean, a cell phone and a handcuff key don't materialize in a suspect's jail cell. At the end of the day, folks, Keith Coleman is a monster. He's a monster. And yes, all suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. But there has been testimony, witness statements, that this guy not only was the architect, the facilitator, but the man behind the double murders of Will Polk, and April Jones. When is this going to be enough? It is It is up to Quitman County. It is up to... Whether it be MBI or the Attorney General. There needs to be an investigation up with this department. Period. In a discussion. Now, I have the name of the law enforcement officer, uh, and I'm not releasing that just yet because I want to talk to Quitman County, and I want to go on the record and ask them, is this your guy? Now, probably not going to be 
welcome with open arms, but I'm doing my job as a journalist with this information because the people of Quitman County need to know what's going on. You're not, they're not coming out and saying this. Whether it's they don't want to air their dirty laundry or, or whatever the case may be, if this guy gets out again, there are a lot of people that are going to be in danger. And if there are people helping him, whether it be unrelated family, like a godfather, or uh, people on the outside that are willing to, you know, help him escape, a lot of people are going to be in danger. They're not going to tell you that. They might not tell you that because it, it didn't happen, but it could have. I mean, it almost did, right? They had to move him to another cell to search the cell he was in. He was in a paper gown, I might add. So, he's made an effort to escape for the third time, which failed. And thank God. And I commend the Quitman County Sheriff's Office for their swift action and making sure that this didn't happen. However, that does not relieve you of your responsibility and duty to get to the bottom of who's aiding K2, one, and also the leaked photographs of Will Polk. This isn't going to go away. You can't just ignore it and say it's not it's a non-issue and hope that it goes away because it's not going to go away. You you have to be you have there's someone has to be held accountable for for this for these atrocities that are going on within the department. Somebody released that photograph. Who was it? Who released the photograph? The medical examiner's office? Did they release it to the family? I don't know. You wouldn't think so. Somebody did. Was it somebody within the sheriff's office? Was it somebody within the sheriff's office who gave it to a third party to release? The fact is we don't know because we're not being told that. Same with this new information. Who is helping Keith Coleman Jr.? Who is helping him? Is it someone within the sheriff's office? Is the man getting visitors and these visitors aren't being held accountable or being searched and they're passing stuff to Keith Coleman Jr.? What is it? But we need to know. And, and, and from a PR standpoint, it, it would be in the best interest of Quitman County to share these, these incidences. It, it would put you in a better light. It would show that you're not oblivious to what's going on in your own department. At the end of the day, two people were brutally murdered, and there's much more to this. And, and, and we're going to find out when this when this goes to trial but the thing is we got to keep him in jail keith coleman should be locked up in a in a solitary confinement situation and not be allowed out because if he's trying to escape for the third time if he gets the opportunity he's going to do it and then there's going to be a lot of people put in harm's way because he's allowed to escape and again obviously Information was given to Quitman County, and they put a stop to this possible escape. And and I'm and I'm happy that that's the case. Good for them. Great job, Quitman County. I'm giving you props for for putting a stop to that. But it shouldn't have happened in the first place. He shouldn't have been had had those things. So an investigation into how he got that. I hope is being done. But there has to be transparency on your part. Not only to is he getting aid from somebody from the inside. But again, who leaked those photos of the photograph? Now, to the residents of Quitman County and to those that support the family and to the families of both Will and April. It, it, it seems like there's two sides. There's like. 
there's like opposing sides. There, there are the families and those who support the families. And then there's Quitman County. And there, there's a disconnect. And this seems like it's an avis. It, it's, it's, it's the families and the supporters of the families and the victims versus the sheriff's office. And it shouldn't be that way. We should be working together. But in order to work together, there needs to be transparency. The people have a right to know. They do. They have a right to know. They have a right to know why people are not being charged, why charges aren't being brought to a person who is carrying remains in the back of a car. Why is this person not being charged? Why... Is the person who allowed to send a photograph to a family member not being found and arrested and put in jail? Why is Keith Coleman being allowed aid to make a, an attempted escape? Why, why, why are these things allowed to be? These are the questions that have to be asked, and they're tough. I get it. You know, it's a black eye. But the good news is he didn't escape. It was stopped. The bad news is the people need to know. They have a right to know. Because this person could get out of jail and kill more people. He's a monster. And monsters deserve to be locked up. It is the it is the responsibility of Quitman County, the DA's office, the local authorities to protect and serve the community. And I believe they do that for the most part. I really do. But at the end of the day, people need to know. People need to be held accountable. People need to go to jail. This case keeps taking these nasty turns when it doesn't have to be. And we're not even at the trial phase of this yet, folks. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be a circus in and of itself. But we have to get there first. And that means keeping Keith Coleman Jr. in jail so that he gets his day in court. And the families and the, the victims get their day in court. But how much more can these people take? How much more can the families take? How much more can the community take? It, it, this is the thing that, that people have to stand up and demand justice. Not only demand justice for April Jones. Demand that her remains get found. Demand that they look. I'm sure they have the information. And it's it's time that that happens. It has to happen now. Will Polk and April Jones lost their lives. And the investigation was... Was... I, as far as I'm concerned, there would be no investigation without Agent Corey Burroughs with the Mississippi Bureau investigation. And Quitman County is now responsible for, I would assume, charging people and doing the other investigations. But it, it, it comes to this. If they're not going to be transparent about what happened with the leaked photograph or K2 trying to escape uh, or s somebody in within the inside giving him aid. If they're not going to be transparent about it, then there needs to be an independent investigation, whether it be the, the attorney general's office of Mississippi or the department of justice of the United States. There needs to be an inquiry into what is going on in Quitman County period. Folks, as I wrap this video up, I want to say this. We're going to continue to 
to advocate for not only the victims, but the families. Because they matter. We are going to continue to tell the truth. And we're going to continue to make sure that any news that comes out regarding the case, regarding the suspects, is going to come right here, Grim Media News, and we're going to be honest and transparent because someone has to be. For all those who support Will's family and April's family, I urge you to stand up and demand action. Not only do you demand justice, but demand action, demand transparency, and demand answers. That's how we're going to find out what's truly going on in Quitman County. Thank you for watching this special edition of Grim Media News. I'm your host, Steve Stone. God bless the families and the victims. And if you haven't done so, please subscribe to the Grim Truth Podcast YouTube channel. Hit the notification button so you never miss an episode of Grim Media News or the Weekly Remind. Like, comment, share. Help us get these videos out and continue to be the media for the missing. That's going to do it for us today. God bless. Thank you.